On this episode of Guy Code, find out how deep into the shackles of social media man has fallen in doing it for the gram. I live on social media. My address is number 35 Instagram streets off Snapchat Road. When you scavenge for information that has not been freely given to you, uh, you just might be snooping. You don't need permission. I mean, girls will do that if they have the chance. So you do your own when you get the little chance. And the most effective and efficient way to get that super hot chick you like on Instagram sliding into her DM. But first, catfishing. This is when you think that Omotala will take time off her life and career to chat with you on Facebook. Guys, um, it's not Omotala, I'm sorry. Catfishing is when you go hunting online. So basically, this person creates an online fictional persona. I see some girls, they get Bobby for Avi. When you meet them, they're flat. Yes, I have been catfished. I don't know what happened, I just gave my number. When will I give the number? So we started chatting on WhatsApp. And then when I saw this babe, you see the gown that this girl wore. Long. Oh, I like the traffic. I was looking at, I mean, I'm in traffic. Oh. Block! <laughs> I have never been catfished because I usually exercise my right to use my brain. Catfishing can never happen to me. Why? Because I don't believe things that happen online. You know, some girls, you just see them, you just, they're like, ah, they want to drink it. I know, I know. Just buy milk, please. You need. I mean, it's 2017, people. There is WhatsApp call. You can Snapchat call. There is Skype. You can FaceTime. Contrary to making social interactions easy, meeting people on the internet has become rocket science. You don't want to be catfished into meeting Taribo when you expected Tiwa. Personally, I think people go online to make new friends because they want to make friends outside their environment outside their region. On the internet, everyone is confident. I can wake up when I abuse Obama and nobody will do me anything. When is the right time to be comfortable with a random person or a random chick you met online? Um, I mean, I, I feel you just know when you, you guys keep conversing, you guys have conversations, you would get to a certain level where you know, okay, yeah, I mean, or cool. I think after three video calls, you, you, you know you're ready to be free with her. When people create a fake personality online, you can't help but wonder, what is freaking going on in their heads? I'm not always truthful when I meet people online. I would rather say I am protective about what I say. I don't just, I don't give too much information about myself.